Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Julio Castillo Gomez, president of the Los Cabos Business Coordinating Council, also known as CCC, and head of the COVID-19 work group, said that the citizens and residents of Los Cabos must abide by the mobility restrictions announced by the government of the state of Baja California Sur, instructing everyone to stay home if it's not urgent or very necessary for them to go out. In recent days, authorities from the federal, state, and municipal government have reinforced social distancing patrols where citizens are invited to stay at home to avoid COVID-19 infections, or else they could receive administrative sanctions. Castillo stated that the patrols will be more frequent as the authorities have a map of the neighborhoods that still have high rates of mobility which is currently not allowed unless absolutely necessary. Castillo said that there was an analysis of the reaction in both Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo in terms of the mobility of people to define which neighborhoods will need closer monitoring and enforcement for people to stay home. The patrol started this past weekend, said the businessman from Los Cabos, and today there will be a report to determine where to intensify the actions to ensure people stay home in all areas of Los Cabos. The authorities in charge of public safety reported that last Saturday there was excessive movement of people in certain neighborhoods and on Sunday it slowed down substantially. But Castillo said they waited an additional day to monitor whether people are understanding or if the movement of people only slowed down for a day. The president of the Los Cabos Business Coordinating Council said that in summary, a more detailed analysis of how people are reacting in certain areas is needed to allocate the required resources to these neighborhoods so people will understand they need to stay home. For several weeks now, non-essential businesses have been instructed to remain closed and only businesses that sell food or basic necessity items may be open. However, not all merchants have complied with this provision, so authorities have been given the task of closing them. The Municipal Director of Civil Protection, Eric Santillan, reported that the closings of these non-priority or non-essential businesses will continue until May 30. He insisted that any business that fails to comply with this provision will be subject to fines or other administrative sanctions. This action, he said, is to avoid further contagion from COVID-19. Businesses such as convenience stores, grocery stores, and all those that sell basic necessities are open so that citizens may buy what they need during this pandemic, while entertainment, beauty, and other businesses are temporarily closed to the public. Ignacio Lavandera, president of the National Chamber of Commerce Chapter Los Cabos, explained that approximately 85% of all businesses are closed. The delivery of basic food packages by the Community Alliance for Baja California Sur, known as the Alianza, continues normally and under safety measures. The mission of this multidisciplinary effort is for no family to go hungry during the COVID-19 pandemic in the state. This weekend, the Alianza worked with a group of more than 70 people between volunteers and members of the different public safety forces to guarantee that the help reaches the families that need it. Regarding the delivery of despensas from the Alianza, the authorities informed that they were carried out without any problem this weekend. Hundreds of basic food packages were delivered in neighborhoods of Los Cabos, explained the president of the Los Cabos Business Coordinating Council, Julio Castillo Gomez. Julio Castillo guaranteed that everyone who requests help will receive food supplies and said that they're working as fast as possible to provide all the help that is needed. He acknowledged that there are many neighborhoods and said that all will receive help, regardless of the area, since there are many people who do not have income because they lost their job. As of today, the Alianza for Baja California Sur has delivered more than 4,000 despensas in the municipality of Los Cabos. <laughs>